Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, do you guys remember that game? Yeah, there was a lot of buildup for this game, and then there was a disastrous release last year, and Sony actually took it out of the PlayStation Store, at least the PS4 version, and now it's back. It's back, but they have a big warning uh, warning, the game may still be broken on PS4. Did anybody expect it to actually run well on a base PS4 unit? So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. And uh, we're going to talk about the PlayStation 5's popularity. Look at this. IGN put this up a couple hours ago. And this shows the, uh, the hashtag E3 tweets mentioning Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Look at the Switch. It's like skyrocketing. The Xbox is, yeah, pretty far behind, distant second. And Sony is following up in, in third place. Uh, you know, I'm trying to figure out how Sony is doing here in the States, the PS5. Apparently, they're still hard to find. We got one the first month it came out. We were lucky enough to get one. And I got to be honest, I think Squid King is playing mostly PS4 games on it. Uh, and he's playing more PC than he is uh, PS5, and there just doesn't seem a lot to be a lot of buzz around the PS5 in general. I don't know. Could just be from where I'm sitting, but uh, we're going to talk about all this. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 201,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Working on a 200K idea. Not exactly sure what we're going to do yet, guys, but we do definitely appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so Sony is definitely in third place here as far as hype is concerned. And according to uh, NME, they've sold 9 million PlayStation 5 consoles, but they're still impossible to find. It's not doing well in Japan. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077. It did return to the PlayStation Store today with a huge warning. Uh, Kotaku has it too, six months later, and the PS4 version of the game still has problems. Uh, I don't know how many people got a refund. I don't think as many people got a refund on it as they originally uh, thought would get a refund. Now, we have Cyberpunk 2077 for PC, and on a decent PC, it actually runs very, very well. I mean, it still has some problems, and considering it was in development for, what, like eight years? Uh, you know... Yeah, could have used a little more polish, I think. But overall, it was it was okay. It was all right. I don't know if it was worth the hype, but it was it was definitely it was an okay game. Uh, you know, but we didn't play it on PS4, so <laughs> PS4 users had had a, a very broken experience, I guess. So this is coming from The Verge. As expected, Cyberpunk 2077 has returned to the PlayStation Store more than six months after it was removed. The game has returned with a big warning for PS4 owners, though. Users may continue to experience some performance issue with the PS4 edition while we continue to improve stability across all platforms, admits CD Projekt Red. The PS4 Pro and PS5 versions of the game will provide the best experience on PlayStation. No, actually, the best experience is on PC. If you're going to buy Cyberpunk 2077, I strongly recommend you get it on PC. But I digress. Sony's listing for Cyberpunk 2077 has a similar warning, and it goes a step further to try and dissuade PS4 owners from purchasing the game. Purchase for use on PS4 systems is not recommended, says Sony's own listing. Oh my God, yeah, check this out. Check this out. Uh, this is actually their listing, right? <laughs> Users continue to experience performance issues with this game purchase for use on ps4 systems is not recommended for the best cyberpunk experience playing the ps4 and ps5 this purchase will also be playable on ps5 why not just buy the ps5 version uh, cyberpunk 2077 is an open world action adventure story set in night city yada 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 to play this game on ps5 your system may need to be updated to the latest system software although this game is playable on ps5 some features available on ps4 may be absent like glitching and breaking See PlayStation.com backslash BC for more details. So check this out. This is the official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account. Uh, <laughs> Users may continue to experience some performance issues with the PS4 edition while we continue to improve stability across all platforms. The PS4 Pro and PS5 versions of the game will provide the best experience on PlayStation. 
<sighs> Cyberpunk 2077 originally debuted in December with severe technical problems on last-gen Xbox One and PS4 consoles. There were multiple bugs and glitches across all platforms, but some of the most severe issues were found on base Xbox One and PS4 systems. Microsoft added a warning label while Sony pulled Cyberpunk from its store entirely after a week. You could still buy the physical disc version for PS4, but the missing digital version could have slowed down sales across Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. CD Projekt Red has been gradually patching many of the early Cyberpunk 2077 issues, but it's clear there's still work to be done on the Xbox One and PS4 versions. A free next-gen upgrade will be available for Cyberpunk 2077 in the second half of 2021. And at that point, nobody cares <laughs> with more fixes planned throughout the year. So let's see what the commenters are saying. Nope. $49.99, I'll get it at Best Buy for $19.99. I'll just wait for the PS5 version. This is why I can't take digital console games uh, sales seriously. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, glad to see it show back up, but I've got to pour one out for the devs who have had to tell management, no, please, no, it'll run like garbage only to hear back. You're not considering how much market share we'd lose in the traditional dev world. Uh, IE 11 and outdated Windows builds are the bane of my existence. Yeah, they were probably pushed into you know, shoving this thing out uh, for PS4. I mean, why bother at that point? You know, probably because it's got the, the largest install base. But um, yeah, if you're going to play it at this point, I would say PC is the way to go. It's actually pretty decent on PC. It's a pretty good game on PC. Uh, let's see. Den of Geek has an article. 10 PS4 games to play instead of the still broken Cyberpunk 2077. And they've got a list here. It includes uh, Deuce X, Mankind Divided, uh, Fallout New Vegas, The Outer Worlds. Ghost Runner, Visible Ink, Cloud Punk, Watch Dogs Legion, Prey, Dishonored 2, The Witcher 3. That's a good choice. Uh, yeah, so I, I just think they missed their, their window of opportunity. Um, they did with Cyberpunk. There was massive, massive hype for it. And I think they should have only released it for PC at first. But, you know, they promised a PS4 version. And uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't go very well. So let's go back to this, uh, the buzz or lack of buzz around PlayStation. Now, according to NME, Sony has sold 9 million PlayStation 5 consoles. What? That's several million more than the Xbox Series X and S. That I actually believe, like nobody's talking about the Xbox. Like, I, I don't even know anybody that owns one. Um, if they do, they're not really talking about it. So according to a report from VG Charts, the PS5 has sold an estimated 9 million units since its official launch on November 12th, 2020. It's almost as much as the entire lifetime sales of the Sega Dreamcast. That's not really saying much, though, is it? I mean, comparing it to any Sega system outside the, the Genesis probably isn't good. Uh, the Xbox Series X and S isn't doing so well, shifting just 5.33 million units. That doesn't surprise me. Um, despite these impressive sales figures, uh, here in the U S and Japan's bombing, despite the impressive sales figures, it's still incredibly difficult to get a hold of the PS five, largely due to the ongoing semiconductor shortages, chip shortage, chip shortage, which is making console production a lot trickier than usual between production problems and scalpers buying up PS five stock. The PS five is having a, a tough first year. So here are how console sales fared for the week of June 5th. So this is just a couple of weeks ago. Switch, 392,000 units, 86 million lifetime sales. PS5, 199,000. So like half, it, so PS5 is selling half as well as the Switch. 9 million lifetime sales. Xbox Series X and S, uh, 112,000 units, not good. 5 million. PS4, 29,000 units, 115 million uh, lifetime sales. Xbox One, 50 million Lifetime sales, 13,000. The 3DS, 75 million. Yeah, actually, the uh, Switch has passed the 3DS. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Switch is selling insanely well. That's why I think everybody was excited about, you know, the, the possibility of a Switch Pro. But with Nintendo, look, they don't release new hardware unless they have to, you know. And the Switch is selling really well. And yeah, it'd be nice to have a beefier Switch. But, you know, they're selling like crazy right now and they're selling a shit ton of Animal Crossing and they can manufacture it realistically, right? Because they're probably pretty cheap to produce at this point, I'd imagine. But now Japan's a totally different story. Uh, this is, again, just last month. 
everybody keeps talking about this. Uh, PlayStation, this is VG charts. PlayStation is in decisive decline in Japan. Japan, following lackluster PS5 launch, according to analysts. Now, we've talked about this a little bit. But uh, yeah, they said early PS5 trends have shown that the PlayStation brand in Japan is in decisive decline and ACE Economic Research Institute cannot help but be disappointed. And we know they shut down uh, PlayStation Studio in Japan. They shut it down. They just don't care. It doesn't seem like Sony cares about what's going on in Japan right now. Uh, looking at the present situation, which Sony has failed to ship enough PS PS5s to Japan for the year-end shopping season, we can't help but be deeply concerned for the future of the PlayStation market in Japan. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they care anymore, and that's that's going to be a huge problem for them, I think, going forward, because part of the uh, the uh, attraction to Sony machines, at least early on, was that we finally, unlike Nintendo at the time finally got to get a lot of Japanese content, like Japanese games that Nintendo probably would have passed on, Sega maybe would have passed on, but Sony was going to bring them out over here. Even the weird ones like Jumping Flash and, you know, all these crazy games that we probably wouldn't have gotten. Uh, otherwise, we were getting them for the PS1, the PS2. It was pretty awesome, and it just seems like they've, they've forgotten their roots a little bit, right? Uh, I don't know. But there we go, guys. Cyberpunk's back. Big warning. Does anybody care? I don't know if anybody cares. This was not this was not a good look, I guess is what they say for CD Projekt Red now. Um, this kind of reminds me of No Man's Sky, where I remember Squid King was super excited. What was it, 2016 when it came out for this amazing game? It was just really hyped up. And then when it came out, it was like 20% of what was promised. It took them a few years, but now the game's actually pretty good. No Man's Sky is actually pretty good. So maybe in three or four years, Cyberpunk 2077 will be the game that everybody thought it was going to be or hoped it would be. It just won't be on PS4. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.